Hi and hello everyone! Welcome back to my gaming channel. It's time for another video update, a new U2 update that will come to the Crew Moto Fest on the 6th of November. I have tons of news and features that got revealed by Ubisoft three days ago in their Year 2 showcase video to show to you all and analyze it. So let's get straight into it. So first things first, if you all remember, the servers for the Crew 1 were shut down forever on 31st March of 2024 this year, and as it was stated by Ivory Tower, following the player's discontent of server shutdown, they will implement in near future an offline mode patch both for the Crew 2 and for the Crew Motofest. Further updates on the matter will be released by Ivory Tower in an upcoming months. We are currently exploring different solutions and can confirm an offline mod to ensure long-term access to both titles. So stay tuned for more news in the next month. Now we come to the second part and biggest news of it all, and that's the addition of Maui Island in the game. Although I know many of you guys were very disappointed that we will get a smaller map than previous The Crew 2, I have no doubt that with constant updates the game will be kept fresh and interesting for many years to come. We've been working behind the scenes for months now. As you can see the video showcase for the new island edition and how to access this island was shown under the guide of Malu, which was taking our players across long bridge that was connecting Oahu and Maui near Hanauma Bay race circuit. Let me give you a glimpse of what Motorfest will unveil in November. We're heading to Maui. The map will feature a variety of terrain from active volcano to the big waterfalls, beautiful beaches, jungles, to straight open roads and very twisty ones perfect for drifting. Traditions to modern influences. Let's go on a quick tour. Back to the main event. Motorfest has put together an exciting new... Now I want to talk about the other part of this announcement, and that is return of our all-time favorite playlist Made in Japan for its Volume 2 edition. It will launch when Year 2 Season 5 content drops in November, with now confirmed return of the pack, including characters of Hayato and the rest of the gang. The reward for finishing the Made in Japan Volume 2 playlist would be this beautiful kitted out Honda NSX Liberty Walk Edition. New street racer squads have arrived at the festival, ready to conquer the asphalt for good. This time around, apart from your usual events, side activities and challenges for playlists, there's an addition of rival staff which I will get to in a second, and also custom mode where I think we will be able to set our own custom races for selected playlists direct from this screen, instead of driving to each and every single race separately. Now, as for the rival staff for this playlist, they have been added as an extra way to race your opponents in free drive, and beating them will unlock races against each team's chiefs. Once you beat all of them, there will be one main showdown with Mystery Driver and you can earn valuable rewards through progression. Each and every single race with these rivals will feature distance towards the finish line in which you must come first in order to beat them. Very important to note that other than racing with your opponent rivals, you can also initiate a chase after them in the new premium feature called the Chase Squad, but I will talk about this one later. Remember, this playlist is just the tip of the iceberg. Motorfest has lined up weeks of content for Season 5. New challenges, car culture themes, and exciting rides to collect throughout the season. And Season 5 is only the beginning. We're committed to bringing you more exciting free content, surprises, and unforgettable moments throughout the whole year. I won't spoil anything, but Season 6 is already in the works. Get ready for a festival painted in yellow, red, and blue. You see, the 
There's a certain poetry in the collision of these heavy metal bodies. Disjointed puppets yearning to meet their final fate. It's a sight that never grows old. So when Motorfest extended an invitation to join the feast, it felt like an all-expenses-paid trip to paradise that I simply couldn't refuse. But make no mistake, I'm not coming to sit punch and crack macadamia nuts, no matter what the sensitive souls might say. If you're looking for clean laps and perfect donuts, go watch the pretty boys on TV, because that's not my expertise. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for big-headed street racers like you. I'm putting together a special kind of team. And I'm after the best drivers. The gutsy type. Drivers who crave the thrill of the chase. There's one spot left in my squad. Join us. We'll show everyone just how stimulating driving can be when you're not afraid to get a little physical on the roads. Another major update to the crew Waterfest come here to update is addition of a new exclusive playlist and play mode called the Chase Squad. This time around, instead of being the racer, or should I say the prey, we will be put in the shoes of task of apprehending rogue drivers. Okay, things are getting serious. The guy you're chasing is fast, but I can spot him from here. Go full speed, see if you can catch up to him. Permission to take the target down? Grab it. We will have a set goal of points to reach before we got authorized by the Chase Squad HQ to take down these racers. And once authorized, we will only have a certain distance in which we can apprehend these racers, otherwise we will lose. This new game mode will be featured in previously mentioned Rivals mode of playlist where you will have options both to race them and chase them. Should we choose to chase them, we will have our squad support both on the ground and air support in terms of helicopter. We will also be able to, for the first time since release of the Motorfest, be able to fly a helicopter again since the crew too. That's one of the chiefs and the guy we chased last time. He should be in sight as soon as you land. The cavalry is coming, buddy. Also, with the addition of this new exclusive content, it seems we will get new player social ground in the form of Chase Squad HQ along with Motherfest grounds, similar to how Forza Horizon Festival grounds were expanded. Ah, it seems like someone hasn't learned their lesson. Those street rival crews are on the loose, goofing off across the archipelago under my guidance. You'll learn that there are plenty of ways to put a stop to their antics. The Chase Squad exclusive content will be available for free for new players who buy gold and ultimate editions of the game. For every other existing player, you will have to purchase the year 2 pass in order to access this content and also to receive initially 7 car pack for Chase Squad editions and 4 other vehicles which will be available at the launch of season 5 which I will get into later at the end of this video. Note that the currently at the making of this video, there is no yet official price for the year 2 pass released in the Ubisoft Connect app. Now I want to talk about new miscellaneous features of this game that will come along with the new cars confirmed so far in the new update. First of all, we have the introduction of the new currency or the so-called prestige tickets. You will be able to earn them by replaying playlists in custom modes accessible from the tabs on each one of them. With these tickets, you will be able to purchase special rewards that you may have missed in previous seasons, but are part of Summit, Custom Show or other game modes. Also. Of note I have to add is the addition of working rear and side mirrors from the in-cockpit view, so it's finally to arrive in the game. 
Another new feature in this game seems to be addition of custom gauges. Now, whether we will be able to use them at all times or just during specific playlists events remains to be seen, but my guess is that they will be only for playlists as we had classical gauges available to us in Vintage Garage playlist. Last but not the least guys, I wanna present to you the 15 vehicles that were revealed in the showcase for 2024 year 2 update for the crew motorfest. Lucky few, I've handpicked to get a sneak peek before everyone else. Meet me at the rendezvous. We've been working behind the scenes for months now. That would be all for these news videos guys. I will keep you updated more as time goes on about the new year 2 game update and more. In the meantime, please like, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon for future updates. You do not want to miss them. Leave your comment and thoughts in the section down below. Keep on racing hard guys and game on!